Makai and welcome to another episode of Daily Tech, Lago SAPC One. It's a daring one, it's a very important one, but also Nitika Nitika being a little to switch to Sambana, who is our sign interpreter. Her name is Andy Sokabashi, but also Yepete Yake, I'm changing. Tell us, it's a happy job. I'm changing. I'm changing. So, of course, we are talking about a Today, we are talking about a topic that Ekuma Ogutini Abantabasha, who are going through the process of pregnancy at a young age. According to World Health Organization, 10, up to 10 million and more young pre unintended pregnancies are occurring. And in that occurrence, 10% of those pregnancies of young ladies who are between the ages of 15 and 19 who get to go through that process, and not all of them get to come out, of course, alive. And soon as them can in those challenges that we go through, are we as Umpagati, are we as communities across South Africa aware of these challenges? Are we aware of what young girls go through? Let's catch you so clearly as Umpagati. Kini ju medisa naka levitso ke na Nicolette wa ga machine ngwana wa kwa Bosch Patrick Mapula neng le go pelo go re sana re lwa le twatshe ya coronavirus now we know that the president has sent through a group of people that are going to repatriate our young South Africans who are faced in Wuhan China so we say good luck to them but as Melody's already said we are talking about teenage pregnancy but le gone a re nya go ivlavla ka mgore jwa re ivolela every single day we want to look at the high mortality rates of your na teenage pregnancy but also asking the question these young ladies, is their body developed enough to be able to even have that type of childbirth? Now, we've got a nurse who comes from the private practice or private hospitals who says, in actual fact, they encourage C-sections because the young girl's body is not really ready to be able to give childbirth in the natural way. So, do you actually understand not only just this high mortality rate, but also the psychological effect that a teenage pregnancy can have on a young girl, but also also looking at a young man. Let us know how many people are watching our seven days social media. Yeah, so with the hashtag daily Twitter, we say PC one. With the hashtag daily Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Pin the footage. Call us on phone number zero one one three three nine one three one five. We are watching our Tambo Paul. We are watching Mina. We are Mama. We are dating. And this is what I went. We want to know today. But tell me, Moses, when you call it. Do you think we know what the young girls go through? I don't. I think Remutu Bari is pregnant. The first thing that we think about a lot of us, we're we judging them. Mm. We're like, yeah. Mm. Mm. That's the first thing we think about. Nobody really actually thinks about the psychology, the psyche of that person. Mm. Now, what are they going through? Because nine months. It's a very long time. In actual fact, one of my friends who has a baby and she got her baby, she says, Nicolette, pregnancy is an extreme sport. Hey, Gustam. See, I just want to talk some corners of corners. Just cut the lag. I'm going to go to the pella. What do they go to? But for now, let's meet our studio guest. I'd like to start with when I pull on, but now what has been your experience? Now, Kat, we are only 17 years old. Can you maybe take us through that entire experience, Swak? To me, lang, nakalene ke pull on ko na. Experience yaka nakina na really amazing. Cause maravikili teenage, I think we're miloka really developed. Koka kera ko na. Cause ano really complications tika sa nilni jo na. Then give you a little one, a natural birth. Mm. Yeah. Go find out the horror you me. Did you ever think horror? Go na live banana baba ngoba baba shwang because the statistics show us horror. It's one of the leading causes. Yeah, horror. Young girls pass away. So did you ever even? We na kan elo ko na kan nataba yo. No, I kan na kan because ko amara in that time. Mm. Teenage pregnancy, nature did lead you already based to illustrate. Mm. And never told when she ever survived. So, yeah, we can know that it's normal and they can survive. Eh, would you see it took over as a sito, go mona, and as a sito go over as a nancy? Kibato umpoza horna, what was your experience as Lima Nancy? How were they treating you throughout the nine months? Manessa and I were very rude. Kadi follow up, Sagaria Scaling. Because always, in the world, people are feeling guilty. But we shall be able to get no money. Maybe if it is a wizard and says Togo, Rutlo says Togo, a young person also on a leap or the nurses did not treat her fairly. Mm. How, what are you, how are you guys trained to treat uh, uh, young girls who do fall pregnant? Um, as a nurse, you have an oath that you have to live by. Mm. You have to prevent. Uh, 
certain things from happening. You have to protect the patient. You have to, mm. you know, have a positive uh, attitude towards the patient. Mm. So, well, with some nurses, uh, I'd say they in the wrong field okay. because they can't they can't really yeah, yeah they, they, they they don't have their right attitude towards yeah. Mm. yeah the people and i think that's also something that we need to be you know cognizant of melody as mm. if whatever you can't separate your own judgments mm. from your job mm. why are you then in that field hey it's a very tough question but in a good taxi at a young age, and she's 15. Do you know the role when that you played during that time of her life? Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, it is the influential poet. Mm. Uh, Mr. Mia, to tell the truth, man, I wouldn't know what to do, mm. you know? And I, I think it's easy for Namachi to repeat a situation because our families are going to help us in, uh, to be part of that denial, you know? Mm. Saying, oh, no see, but I talk to someone, I'm not going to talk to you, you know? And uh, we run away from such uh, this uh, responsibility because it's a huge responsibility. Mm. And I think we underestimate uh, the challenges that the young girls go through. So, Tingi Booz, do you think about Zalbako consider that when they hear 13 year old girl, Gamaki? Oh, yeah, they would, man. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge problem, you know. Uh, it, has, it has a lot to deal with psychologically, so emotionally, and so on, you okay. know. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 so look for in Um, oh, you can speak English. I know, Agnan King, you know. So, the question is for you do, do you understand um, or have you experienced this teenage pregnancy season? Yes, I had experience is okay. I am also a teenage mother. Okay. It's like yo it's How old were you? I was seventeen. Okay. It was difficult for me because I was charging myself for it. I was beating myself down. But my family was there for me. Mm -hmm. And with the clinics and the doctors they were not supportive. Mm. It was like I even told my mother mm. I don't have to give birth at the hospital. I can give birth at home the way they were. Mm. How old is your baby now? Nine months. Sure. So you're a new mom. Congratulations. Thank you. So job school mo yezu sinkulume tsu ba lega ngana mklanje because of the complications of abantabasha abashona espelela trying to give birth at a young age, but also kuba ba legi luguti tina straba mguti ngempela yines na yenza as parents in Makaya, but also what knowledge can we get from today's show luguti sense and gona as a machita. And I think also looking at the after effects of your teenage pregnancy, how does it then affect your growth as a young person, whether you're the dad mm. or you're the mom does it affect your self-esteem mm. does it affect your dreams do you stop dreaming because all of a sudden mm. so do you stay with us after the break Welcome back to Daily Test. Like we said, PC one. Kuba ya kwenye kulimo yetu. Ebalega kulis kulima unguti ge abantu ba shaba bispa zano. Amantu ba zani exactly who are getting pregnant at a young age and we're looking at the mortality rate between 15 and 19. Abaning baba ya shona and abapum na se watin due to the fact that agzo pumi ngani or agzo puma uma wengani and which is a sad reality. But I'm kind of full of fun, just full of cool. We're joined by a very amazing doctor, our doctor Sibusiso Kwanazi, who also comes on to bring in her knowledge and expertise. Thank you so much. Docs, a very quick question. In your line of work, have you questioned which, why am I doing this as, as a doctor? So um, maybe to give you a bit of background, yeah. I actually started looking at teenage pregnancy for my PhD. Mm. I did a PhD in demography and population studies, and I looked at the social factors associated mm. with teenage pregnancy. Mm. So I wanted to look at things beyond the young woman mm. that might be driving teenage pregnancy. Mm. And some of my results um, were what I expected, but others were also very, you know, surprising. Doctor, what are those results? I'm, I'm, I'm so, quite interested in knowing what, uh, what causes teenage pregnancy. So, um, what my results from the PhD, yeah. what I found was that um, teenage pregnancy is associated with a lot of things that happened within the household, okay. and then also within the community. Okay. So remember that we are 
a production a result of where we live mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so the kind of values the kind of things that we see around us all the time are the mm -hmm. things that we are going to normalize uh, and sure. are the things that we are we're not going to think are, are very strange mm -hmm. so if you if if you grow up in a home where there's a single parent you becoming pregnant as a young person and having to raise that child alone it's not as overwhelming as a person who grew up perhaps ah, mm. with two parents. Okay. It's what I want to know, doctor. Right? Because, yeah. because something that Polo said is that it, be, it became a triad. Yes. Mm. Yes. Right. And yes. let's quickly go and see Rona Bonaba so that King Kostrat and Ludo Kwasi was out in the streets talking to our people. So let's hear what they had to say. Stabongutsi. <laughs> Do you remember a time when you were a teenager? And do you think when I see Mosako Upila and Gela Clash, Sasanak Bumela and Uba Benum Duana, Ozum Kulisa, when the Kansas Bauchile, Ufundile, Songas was in the Ezo, and Osakula as a teenager, you don't really need all of that stress because there's only one thing if I'm focusing on you already, Sisko. But that's just my take. And in Funuku Vangabanda Bach, I started by Tini Nabon. Sfunuku was why in Nani Labanduana Abanin Ababelekayo, Besueleka. Is it because their bodies are not ready? Is it because they're using substances? What exactly is happening? And then also, Sitini, what is the solution to this teenage pregnancy? Masio Baba Tinina. So we are talking about teenage pregnancy, and we'd like to find out from you, why do you think there's a rise in the number of maternal deaths uh, amongst teenagers today? Well, to begin with, they're getting pregnant. They shouldn't be doing that at such a very, very young age uh, because there's certain implications like that that happen, and it's, it's a very immature for a teenager because when you get into your teenagehood you're maturing so it's a bit difficult for them during the birth period to bear the child most people at that age are not yet fully grown and their bodies are still developing so it just messes with your whole system which makes it difficult for you to probably carry full term or even stay alive after giving birth generally with us as teenagers um, we're so caught up in substance abuse, um, we drink a lot, we smoke a lot, so I think that automatically deteriorates your, your immune system. What do you think are some of the things that they struggle with psychologically because now you have an entire human being dependent on you 110%? I feel like you'll end up suffering from depression because now you're so pressured to take care of your child and you're also a child at the same time and most of the time you don't have a support system, so you're all on your own, like Nomdwanako, you have nothing to do. You may not really understand this this whole concept of being a mother or being a parent in general, which obviously overwhelms you as, as a teenager. I guess the first thing that will suffer financially, um, we, we, we black, so our parents might not be part of you raising that child. They might tell you to go find jobs, so that will also impact you. Let's say maybe you're still in school, so you need to study, you need to feed the child, so that will be a bad thing for you. I'm a black person. It might be different for white people and the likes, mixed races and the likes. I'm a black girl. If I'm to get pregnant right now, it says a lot about where I'm coming from. I'm not accepted in the circles that I used to be in because of simply the fact that I'm black. And that should also change because if these things happen by accident, um, I still should be accepted in society, but then um, going back to your question, that's one of the major things. Um, and also school-wise, that means dropping your dreams, your goals and future. You're literally um, saying, I want to be a different person than the person I dreamed of myself becoming in the future. So those are some of the things psychologically that they eat you up. Even as you raise your child growing up, they're going to feel the same energy that you have of not being okay with how you made your decisions and where you they've gotten you so far. What do you think is one of the most effective ways of reducing the number of teenage pregnancies? There's really not much we can do in terms of that. But if you know you're a teenager and are sexually active, just prevention. Young men and young women, I think we should do our part. Uh, well, guys should always use condoms when they have sex. And I think it's better if women now are on some sort of prevention as well. I think that might help. Sex education, it's been going on for a while. So I think teenage, as, us as teenagers, we need to have that education. That will give us more details into when we grow up, you'll know what an, um, at this 
age, I should avoid doing such things. I should do. I should be doing this. So to reduce those things, you need to tell yourself, "Warring, um, because of I'm um, at this stage in life, I need to avoid such things in order to succeed in life." Abstinence is a solution, and Nabazali Emakaya like should teach your girls that it's you don't have to do something to fit in. Like, okay, fine, it does get to a point where you feel like I need to do this, but then. We in Zalandoni, like, what's your main reason? How na reason yaku yira? So, if you don't have any valid reason to do it, then don't do it. Show sure, it's very interesting. Gorna bona ba so abari king na ba balingo stretching ba understand the gorna. You are teenage pregnancy really break her down. What does it come down to? Because I've heard a lot, doctor, that is being said on this insert. Ki utlo ka irresponsibility. I'm hearing about being judged. I mean, some young girl brought race into it. I'm hearing about this underdeveloped body. I'm hearing about contraceptive condoms, drugs. It's a lot, and I think I want to take the conversation. Risk that the hand, the doctor. Kore. What is a developed body? Why are there complications for mm. a young person? So I think we need to just be realistic and mm. know that um, during adolescence, yeah. the body is still developing yeah. and many layers and it, it takes years for different layers of the body to develop. And especially when it comes to sexual organs, it's going to take a longer time because that needs for puberty to be reached first. Okay. And so even when it comes to complications, I was speaking to the sister earlier on, as much as they do end up being complications um, in, in when, when, a, when a girl becomes pregnant as a teenager, mm. but most of these complications actually occur between the ages of 10 and 14. Oh, okay. So government has actually put in a protocol, um, I was being told that, so anyone under the age of 19, they're considered as a high risk pregnancy. Yeah. To, just to make sure that all girls are safe in general. Yeah. So but the higher thing. risk, but the higher risk is yeah. of course between 10 to 14. Yeah. So once, so if a girl does come through pregnant to the clinic, they are immediately taken through to a hospital. Okay. Just in case there are any complications, to check that there are any complications, because the, the, the likelihood of complications are higher mm. when you are a teenager. Okay, mm. interesting. And Klamba, I, I heard also is in this community, a lot of people find that the comparison in, with our races plays a big part on how um, certain races have a higher number of teenage pregnancy versus the other. Is that true? Because I believe private and public hospitals, there's a very big stat difference there. So I think I think what um, the what actually happens is that information mm. is higher mm. amongst certain populations. Ah, okay. So, inform so reporting of information, reporting of these cases, mm. the visibility mm. of black teenage pregnancy is higher in South Africa because when you are Indian, when you are white. Others are shipped uh, to other provinces. Mm. Others are shipped overseas mm. and come back without a pregnancy. And but so, also, there are more black people in South but Africa. But also, there are more black fair, people, you know, you know in general. Yeah. But I actually did write um, a chapter in a book mm. where, in the same book, there was also an experience of Indian girls that were pregnant mm. as mm. teenagers, mm. of a white girl that was pregnant as a teenager. Yeah. So all races do experience this. But how? we react to sexuality remember also during adolescence mm. and when when a person is an adolescent they're exploring themselves they're trying yeah. to figure out what kind of person they are mm. and that also means that they're going to explore their sexuality mm. and that is fine that is normal that is okay yeah. but we need to do that in a responsible way and start talking to young people about ways of prevention ways of negotiating for safe sex in relationships mm. remember that pregnancy does not occur on the street, mm -hmm. some you know, mm -hmm. ah, but talk, it's in mm. a relationship. But we can't be speaking about relationships when kids are having sex. In, in my understanding, I mean, if a 13 year old falls pregnant, sometimes it's because they were either raped at a certain point, others was because they were exploring. And which maybe goes back to my question now that says that in an educational element in Lean, what role do the parents? play in that segment? Well, of course, this is the problem that a lot of parents and a lot of organizations that are supposed to take up parental roles, so also things like religious organizations mm. as yeah. well, right? We, we don't talk about sexuality. Mm. We don't empower young people when it yes. comes to their sexuality. Mm. And, um, and that's why, for instance, I have a great passion 
of talking to faith organizations yeah. about young people and their sexuality and how to talk to young people about the advantages and the disadvantages of contraceptives, of engaging in mm, sex, mm. of how to negotiate for safe sex. Mm. But interestingly, you, we, we continue talking about the young woman. Mm. Yes, and, and, I did talks a, about, mm. and no one talks about who's impregnating yes, these young yes. women. Mm. So in 2017, I released a study where I looked at who were the fathers mm. to, these, yeah. to, to, to these children. And for 12 to 14 year olds, more than 80% of the fathers were aged between 15 sure. and 24. Mm. Sure. And for 15 to 19... So these are rapes? No, no, they're not some rapes. Of them, some of them are rapes. Remember that, remember that also our society and the way we are socialized. Yeah. When you're a girl, yeah. you want to, it's, it's aspired to be with an older guy, but, someone but doctor, who you can to look law, up to, who you can be, okay, who, you, who, you, who is a role model. Okay, so doctor, ladies, <laughs> ladies. Uh, but doctor, I, I, so I, I, yes, it's statutory rape. Statutory rape. Yes, it's statutory so rape. we can agree on that. Yes. Okay, let's pack hey. the there. <laughs> we can go for a quick ad break. I think when we come back, we need to also ask the doctor, yeah. now, why are the mortality rates so underreported? Yeah. Why are they so underreported? because of your not pregnancy. Please do stay with us. Welcome back to Daily Tetra Lago SAPC One Ninja. But you're not taking a shabu or cool was good. Now, a lot of corner, a corner, good Twitter, or good Facebook or Instagram. And I'm looking at Paula and Nani, and the school man, I'm trying to talk about teenage pregnancy and the mortality rate around teenage pregnancy. Uh, I'd like to welcome, of course, uh, Sister Nkosi, who comes on as a midwife, of course, on our show. I'm trying to say, I'm girl, Sissy. But also a young lady, her name is Eunice Onaibenga Tandu Gutinje. I share a story about her experience when you talk about teenage pregnancy. Before I get up, I quickly want to take a heartbreak. Uh, Facebook comments, Lana. Iti, I just lost my 15 years old little sister last night when she sent she was sent to labor on Sunday. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. I'm still looking for answers right now. The nurses are rude here. Sure. I'm sure we found in danger. School man, get to in Zagalai somewhere in the country right now. Yeah, no. If we matamir lo la kaya natukone, doctor. Reading a Facebook message like that and also mm. understanding that the high mortality rate is very, it's high. We've mm. got a high mortality. Why is it so underreported? So according to the um, statistics, 36% of our maternal mortality is due to teenage births. Yes. Okay, it's due to teenage pregnancy. Um, but pregnancy in general mm. is dangerous mm. for women mm. sure. okay it's dangerous for women whether you're a young person or whether you're an old person but more so mm. when you're younger mm. okay mm. and and i guess the problem is that we just don't talk about it yeah. Yeah. just as much as when a woman is pregnant and all of the complications she goes through yeah. it's not just open knowledge that you know people talk about on the streets you yeah. know it's, it's considered something sacred it's considered a process that you know you need to 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 keep you know, sacred as yeah. well, you know, in that sense. So we don't talk about the, the nasty things that mm. can happen. In fact, we joke mm. about it. Yeah. I'm nauseous, but oh, pregnant. Yeah. Pregnant, mm. right? And I think that's, that's also quite scary, sister. It's something that is not normalized. Yeah. But maybe let's let's talk a little bit. And I think before we get into you, I'd, I'd like to speak to Eunice. What was your experience? Did you think when you found out you were pregnant, yeah. did you think there's a possibility there can be complications? Yeah. Yeah. Because... We were pillabam puja, one chusha or quena or no minyani. Corre Osali Milao also be developed. So Utoy Hotel la nine months, and we were hotel la lady paints. But pillabang egg tell our Ovana Kalacha Gila my fellow Sulia Hua. Sulia Hua shall have an old one. So Babang Bang Puta, I never get off a mean bed. Babang Bang Puta, I never know Hokulo Amofas, could no imagine our Lena Kalacha Gila my fellow. Nako dirango ba nako kiti maga kwa toilet or what? So ba pila ba ba nchosha ene ba mpojare mostly of the time ba na ba ba inyani ba achava ukumana reba mpojare kina kwa ya orvelo uto o ukumana ngwana o achava so ufele chalo king oya 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 season ene ava survive minchia ba na ava survive is either agaho na ovela rai mara aya aspile wa shalangwana. Or, 
Because I never prevent So I get help because what Tommy won't put just colon, the teacher won't put our no caruim, Kerujuan, Ampujari, Owen or Ukaru gain away, Kara, maybe keep a color metriki and rat. That's all because Naki shout. Yeah, maybe keep a color metriki and rat because Naki sharp. I get a Kibakinal confident recovery or I like a pregnant because what prevent? Because get prevent. So, you would say, my maga or I, when I want to go, this nowadays, you are a maga, but I'm going to put your question to a flat jacket flat. Oh, I'm going to do it. Ki no ba no mal, chen chen nengi di jaki a di jaki chen nengi sa di rata ki di rat, aki dumi aki lapi. So bar okay, nai ki kupala rum prevent, kora si kupa bunchi jaki arla wan. Ene pi lega July sunchor ki kupala ki prevent di rat, ene ne ki prevent di le May, ka di mo gamba. So reki to bu elamo bar awi o prevent, o bu jor ba o test de pil. So reba ni test agma elor ki pregnant. And I got a baby like a charampe, I did a sugar rhyme, and I know more to come. Yara, Nicky, like a pregnant. And even as one knows, because Nicky's a savony de pirot. So, no rhyme, and do you know one normal? Shall I prevent a weird like a man? But how did you get to the point where you were willing to take contraceptives? Because, mm. mm. uh, and I think it's, 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 it's a perfect place for Sister uh, 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 Ngozi to come in, but keep at Lanetum Fetule. Di sister, na pila a ampojaori. O sinjuru o preventi kaya zaro o kasimpojaori o tumo o jola. Mara wena no dira was best for wena. Oru uskata o wamu stage in sekilengo sana kuzile na uile aima at an early age. So are anya kuru ukuma nika kuaga batle barwa na waka kuaga kaka kuwa abaho nuru respecta milion. Ego na wana. So oru toisha manifest oru musadu aruti bana wana nix. So garo kei. Eric won our relic tomorrow and over, okay. Eric can prevent it. Yeah, this goes to the look for an organ running in Colum. Do you think the late detection of pregnancy, especially for Ikang and Lani, affects this, this problem that we have with the mortality rate? Yes, Kakulu, mm. because um, late detection results mm. in late booking for mm. prenatal classes. Mm. And then it's very important to start ama prenatal classes early mm. so that Sizo Gwazu corner Ubona won't get ama problems that you might encounter. Mm. So if, if, umuntu, if like Usisi Utigena, she was on contraception and then she fell pregnant and then mm. uh, it delayed her yeah. from getting mm. u, 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 prenatal care at mm. a very early stage, mm. and that could have resulted into uh, uh, mortality. And she continued. Mm. To use pre uh, prevention because mm. she's saying that she prevented over the actual pregnancy. That's tricky. Yeah, mm. it's very tricky because um, if if you adhere and ulandela amatets wako we contraception, you shouldn't fall pregnant. Mm. Of course, there are factors like if you have some antibiotics and so on that can affect yeah. mm. e, e, e contraception, but you shouldn't. Mm. Yeah, you know? because I'm going to say something, what happens to the child? If, yeah. if you already are pregnant, I would say you are now pregnant, and, and, and then you have a risk. Can it's that, a risk. Yeah, it it's can, a risk. Is it a risk? Yeah, it's is a, a risk, risk for because the you can also, it, it's, it's a risk for both. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because you can also have uh, 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 miscarriages yes. and, and preterm labor as mm. well. Mm. It's, it's, a, it's a huge risk. And I'm going to Facebook into what's we are going because I have a question. Oh, younger, younger, too often teens do not seek adequate medical care during their pregnancy, which can result in moderate to severe complications. The more common medical complications that may occur during a teen pregnancy includes uh, anemia, uh, to toxemia, high blood pressure, uh, placenta previa, and premature birth of the baby. And I, I think you'll simplify the terms that are used there because mina namang zazizing. But it goes back to the question Engfunugi Buzuguti. When we go looking for amapilisi at clinics uh, or uh, ama pharmacies, mm -hmm. do you believe there's a good connection between ispelela and ama pharmacies? Because I think there's a disconnect like the case where by Oinga ni tola amapilisi where they could have stopped this to say no kwa clinic. Iko ona kakulu. But uh, we always say it's not just the healthcare's responsibility, it's also the patient's mm. responsibility. Mm. Because if we are, we are born now, we are born Man, I'm, I'm, I'm young a clinic last week and they were by age 12 and I'm young. You know, it's your responsibility to inform the sister. Mm. Mm. I'm, uh, mm. I was supposed to come last week and I didn't mm. come. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And then to prevent such, because most of the times, more digger deep in, you find uh, 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 there's 
lies a mm. bit. Yeah. If, if you understand that there's lies, yeah. there's not a uh, mutual default and then they don't tell the truth. But Sister Nkosi, what, what makes them lie? What makes them not come to the clinics? Mm. I, I just want to understand if you're a young person or you are, you've now accepted that you're pregnant, yeah. what would stop you from getting that care? Uh, stigma. 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 Yeah. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it's associated with us. Later. Uh, but it's about a tea. But it's about a tea. But it's about a tea. I think most of the time it, it's just the motherly instinct that mm. kicks in. But also, my wife. Exactly. But I think I think footy it's more of the language barrier because yeah. if you yeah. show English, it's polite. Yeah. Yes. But if you show Zulu, it's harsh. Come to this Why you meet? We are born, and I think I think it's really important yeah. for us to have that conversation mm. because I'm already scared. Mm. Mm. But, but, but I mean, Nicolette, mm. But Nicolette also also if I have but she doesn't also show because sometimes it's you know, not funny. But this is not for us to debate. We are not here 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 to debate. But her experience and her mental positivity element. Best boy. Welcome back to Daily Titans. As a young person, whether you are the mom or the dad, it comes with a lot of issues, social stigma, but also mental health issues. How then do you deal with such a situation? Are you even prepared for it? Mm. And I just I got to know how the environment you live in. It really plays a huge role in how you perceive yourself as a person and how society actually perceives you. It really is really. For instance, when we go to the school and we go after the last outbreak, she's also coming down with about about five hundred dollars. What role? Abu Baba, Abu Baba, Metisile, Bona, Sumabega, Pilinda. Yeah, we are joined by Nurse Busi Sonya, who is a clinical psychologist. We talk about how we are trying to wrap our heads around this. We are trying to deliberate. We understand this is Nurse Busi Sonya. We fit our being more to can get themselves in a situation where mentally they are actually prepared for the situation. Mm. But Mama, before I come to you, I just want to quickly go to Utaviso. Utaviso, quickly tell us, Horna, your experience falling pregnant, or was it also mentally, where were you? Um, I mean, I experience I mean, that being pregnant, uh, around me changed, mm. and then mm. and then mm. low self esteem. Mm. 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 How, how old were you, Tabiso? Uh, being in 18 to 19. You're 19. Yes. Mm. Mentally, newly prepared to be a mom? No. No. I was like, 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 I it was hard. And by the time you give birth, I could get pregnant in nine months. I could say, obviously, how long it was. Mm. But throughout the nine months, how are you helping yourselves, yourself mentally? Mm. I think who's accept. Yeah, I'm accept. Sure. accept. I'm pregnant. I'm attend the clinic because the clinic is attending in six months. Because when you go to Kaiba, you find out. Yes. Sure. When you go to Kaiba, you find out. When you go to Kaiba, you find out. six months to attend the clinic. You don't have to be in the clinic. You can accept. And you're not going to be in the school. I'm going to say this. The stigma is because you did say this. But now I want to understand. Engine. Who's a change? Will it ever change? Once you meet, you like the rotten one in Lini. But. Of course, it changes. Um, you know, firstly, we're not only looking at her as an individual. Mm. Yeah. There's the individual, there's the household, mm. there's the community, and then there's society. Mm. So, yeah, and I immediately, it, it traumatized you. Firstly, mm. she's pregnant mm. mentally, physically, mm. and psychologically. Mm. She's not ready for this. So, now I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Mom, um, name calling, they mm. reject her. Mm. And obviously, as she did indicate, when they reject you, that's when you start having depressive symptoms, yeah. anxiety, uh, to a point where you even have suicidal ideation and intent, mm. you know, because you're scared. 
your whole life changes. not but I made decisions about excessive like I because mm. now there's a baby coming on the way, mm. you know. So, so, so I actually want to ask you, just listening to Eunice uh, Rabuwa, are Banavala Palena. She was mm. her sister. The reason why I'm mm. I'm a little mm. bit contraceptive mm. was because Banavala Palena Arba Torba Bonahal. What is that responsibility that the person, the young person who's now pregnant, must now mm. take on the mental? health of everybody else around them and neglect their own? Mm. Mm. I think firstly for the individual, mm. we have to understand the context in which they come from. Yeah. Sure. Because for many of us young black women, mm. come from an environment where Aiki awareness, mm. Aiki education, sex education, health promotion, we don't have resources. Mm. So therefore, where do I as an individual? Mm. And it becomes so difficult mm. from there onwards, because mm. our mm. you was, know, in terms of contraceptives, we should be taking, but you go to clinics, there's no resource in clinics, there's mm. no PEP, prophylactic treatment, mm. there's no antibiotics. Yes. Um, we need AMA clinics where there's resources for us young people and also be accommodated because as for no figure, mm. you know, and we also need qualified professional health educators and promoters sure. and health nurses mm. in schools because yes. at least I know we see Conalo health educator mm. so again in school mm. Exactly And sister yeah. yeah. that's why I just wanna bring you back in. I mean six months mm. You only left for three months in Ghana figure. Mm. Otherwise there could be a fatality that happens. Mm. How can we change this? It's education, health education. Mm. And it's uh, basically bringing the health care services to the teenagers. Mm. That's, the, that's the only way because like, like Ashi, they, they are scared to go to the clinic. Yeah. So why not bring the clinic to them? Mm. But, but, but restart the guy on education, Anna, because I'm just thinking in my head, I'm just thinking in my head, I'm just thinking in my head, I'm just thinking in my so mm. tomorrow it's Alba Shiman. Mm. Well, listen, the reality is it is it's here now. It's mm. But imagine, Nicolette, if you bring the clinics to the schools. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then, then it, 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 it makes it accessible for, for a teenager, which is his own booza, is even comfortable. Remember, you don't need consent from mm. your mother to start contraception. Okay, because that's what I wanted to ask. Yeah. Because no, that's what don't. Don't. Yeah. Yes, what are they trying to do? Mm. And, and that's what they, how do we get the, the family? Mm. Because our culture, Rona, is that thing, we don't we don't talk about pregnancy. Mm. Yeah. All you hear is hey. you know? And so, so, yeah, yeah. so how do we prepare the entire family mm. so that the, 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 the environment that a person falls into, mm. Leona, is ready for this kind of a thing? Awareness. Mm. Awareness mm. and education. Angus in Bang it's not only the individual, it's the yes. individual, the household mm. society. that they come yeah. from, the mm. community and then the society. Mm. If a society in now informed on education mm. about this, of course they will treat ostracize and stigmatize so we need we need I remember when I was growing up we used to have nurses mobile clinics yes, mm. that will come that. in yes. Makai mm. and the rural yeah. areas mm. you know have a stage mm. teach us give us free mm. condoms free not us as kids but yeah. you know educate on mm. mm. we don't have that anymore we don't. Mm. We I have a lot of fears and club is so you get a best we'll get but I'm just sitting in the cool it's a win or rather a case it and we have a caller uh, call, uh, Hello, Nobukosi. Welcome to Daily Theater. Okay, ah, no, okay, I will try no, and get network. Nobukosi back on the call. And, and, and what I was afraid of is that if we're educating them at a young age, if we at a young if we're educating them at a young age, if we at a young age, at a young age, if we're educating them at a young age, where do we draw the line between the struggle of protecting? And, and educating because oh, enabling enabling yes. maybe to go to the team in your opinion so i personally feel that it's important for us to talk about 
the advantages and yeah. the disadvantages of all of these things. Yeah. So I have talks, for instance, with young people um, on a regular basis about contraceptives, mm. what the options are, how accessible they are, how expensive they are, what the side effects are. Mm. Um, because, because it's difficult enough as older women yeah. to start taking contraceptives. As younger people, it's even more difficult, right? Mm. So it's important to educate young people. But I also believe, Uguti, it's, if, it's important to bring men into this conversation. Mm. It's important to ensure that um, men know, because, because adult men are driving teenage pregnancy. Mm. It's not their peers mm. that are driving this teenage pregnancy. And there's an adult man sitting right next to you. Look, 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 How do you feel about this saying, but after 12 is lunch, and it's a saying about you, but you are going to move. How do you feel about it? Well, we talk to you, because it's adult men. That's how it's going to be. Okay, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. Okay, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. That is our fate, and then say, say, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this. But see, I'm going to go with this. 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 I'm going to go with this process. But do I encourage a safe sex and protected mm. sex? I think I think it's either here or not there. Mm. After mm. that's an after effect. Do you, as a young man, yeah. practice safe and protected sex, and do you encourage it to the young girl? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. No, sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Why is it, why is it, why is it a, a, a choice? Why is it a sometimes? Sometimes and to the services, he gets up she's sometimes. So, what is I can say is man. So, yes, but I mean, tell you, tell you, who packs a gun, who never spoke, and then who spoke in a match, and in an open conversation. Because my problem is an older brother, as men are putting about the Sabangan. My issue becomes after 12, this this statement, Tina say, Hega, but it is what you talk about a school in grade eight, Bambona as a piece of something, and that's where teenage pregnancy starts from. And what we're giving them, but I'm going to show you taking it with social media, and it goes a bit of like this people take teenage pregnancy lightly, as I said, and we never talk about their mental state throughout the pregnancy. Your prenatal depression and your postnatal depression, we always overlook the parental support, is very important at this stage. If you don't have a support system, you're likely, I think they said, not to survive, but it's hashtag daily theater. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, let's go for a quick air break. Hi, welcome back to Daily Tech. Yo, taba ri tuer level la taba yago yi mari buti sa korena. Do you? How do you even prepare for it? And how do we actually start to work together as community? Korre really say these unwanted pregnancies, but also at the same time, when the pregnancy has happened, how then can we help the young girl and the young dad to actually prevent these high mortality rates? Now, I want to call us out, mm. all of us in this room. Yeah. Because I feel like mm. and we're talking like people that have money, people yeah. that have access to resources. Yeah. Sister Nkosi, let's now look at Nwanadutin Komagaying, who has found themselves pregnant. How do we help them? Sure, it's a, it's a big problem. Firstly, infrastructure. Mm. Okay. Firstly, infrastructure. Most of the times, the, the hospitals are 100 kilometers away. Mm. Mm. So um, I think it's, it, 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 we are back to the government. Guti, they must make sure Guti, they build more clinics. More mm. clinics where 24 hours uh, of, of healthcare services are provided mm. for, for, for such. You know? And then, Gunama, Gunezin does that play a, a, a role. Mm. Like, like um, doing a study right now, a traditional medicine in, in pregnancy. Mm. Mm. That plays a huge role, especially in Makaya, because uh, these girls are given traditional medicine to, to drink so that they can make their labor quick. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. What type of medicine is this? It, 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 it's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. And then yeah. now it makes it, 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 it increases actually mortality. Mm. Mm. We understand mm. that because, uh, and then mm. that does happen. It labor fast, but then the, the hospital is 100 kilometers away. away. Mm. Mm. 
and yeah, baba la fasi there's not enough beds ke utlo ba ba kentsa maoto go dimba ba shape maoto ba and and i feel like even the ill treatment mm. is often go bana ba leng go magaeng go dipetlela di leng go magaeng i think yes uh, 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 we also have to look at the frustration if a mns okay mm. the, 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 the overcrowding is a problem mm. you find ukuthi sometimes we are two midwives in a mm. in a delivery room and uh, you've got about 15 deliveries Sure. How are you going to cater for that? Mm. One, delivery packs are not enough. Mm. You know, we have to improvise. Mm. Yes, we've got our own mistakes, but mm. as nurses, as healthcare workers, as doctors, everyone involved, we are doing our mm. best. Mm. Mm. It's mm. just that from, from, from the outside, it doesn't appear as if we are doing our best. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's frustrating. As fun, mm. but just because another patient is occupying the bed. And I think it's a serious situation yeah. because it, it, it also it, it, it contributes to the experience yeah. how I gave birth. And yeah. it also then makes you, I mean, the after effects of being a teenage mom mm. come with that. And it's scary to know that when I was put in Pagati, I was a type of thing, I was a type of I was a And that takes us back to what he, Uba, who did this? Who would think in their right mind go right? Maybe Tlampe, is it the way Tina we allow our little sisters dress or Tlampe Umpagat as mental for men? And it's a question because people have different perceptions of how teenage pregnancy works and how did it occur. So my question becomes maybe Tlampe Togote Lagwen, Oguti, has society allowed the education to just bypass them before understanding the core problems when it comes to men being involved in teenage pregnancy? I, I think to a very large extent we need to understand that our society is very patriarchal. Mm. Our society will protect men, mm. you know, all the time. Even when a girl becomes pregnant, regardless of age, mm. it's her responsibility to go to the boy's family and abige. Abige abige sis, yeah. and, and and prove that he is the father. Mm. And most of the time, there's no proof. Mm. So the so the family, so the boy's family then takes the boy's side when mm. he denies, mm. or says, "We'll see when the child is born. If they have yeah. the same forehead that we mm. have in this family, then then, oh, then definitely it will be our child. Mm. And sometimes the child doesn't come out looking like the father. Mm -hmm. You know. So the, the mental challenge in Ghana is pigeti na bagame. It's like in Ghana to learn in Ghana kulel. It put me Ghana fana nam. The damage is mentally to the girl. Yes. What happens? I mean, it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's that girl's family that then must take responsibility for that child. But that is also what is then mm. perpetuating and driving teenage pregnancy. It's not, it's not young women per se, mm. because once young women become pregnant, mm. after that they normally get a wake-up call, mm. they normally start taking contraceptives, they normally make sure that this doesn't happen again, mm. you know, soon. But that young man who's gotten away scot-free, <laughs> goes to the next young girl and gets the next young girl pregnant. Hey. And, and that's what I always, I, I always argue, mm. Nahore. Why are contraceptives for Basadi? Not why is there more education for Basadi mm. when a woman can only be pregnant once in a year? But a man can impregnate how many people? But sure. you know what? Here's Asake Ari. Ish, guys. It's painful, seriously. I got pregnant at the age of 17. My boyfriend was too old then, and he said he did not impregnate me. Then the paper, and the time the paper umtana as a anganya, anganya wak the bella gentoko washona, and uzenge nyao wak the bella wak gentoko washona, and utatake zange abenendi maizalayo at all. Yeah. You see? O ring, mama. Nainda. Yes, yes. You know what? L l looking at what she's written, mm. um, there's a, a general misconception among South Africans. Yeah. Would see when young women become pregnant, it's because bafuna or social guarantee mm. or bekang we are pap we are shulu le matotin benzan. You know, but people fail to understand that many of these teens, many yeah. of these young kids yeah. are raped. Yeah. Many of them are raped, but I think I will acknowledge and give credit to uh, our government, yeah. you know, very quickly because they've changed the criminal law. Mm. You know, when we look at the criminal law and the Sexual Offences yeah. uh, and Related Matters Amendment Act, it's changed everything. It says, Wuti, when you're 16, you can consent to sex, mm. right? 
when you are the age of 12, mm. fine, there's a lot of debate around this, mm. but when you're at the age of 12, you can give consent con to contraceptive pill, mm. you can give consent to TLP, termination of pregnancy, mm -hmm. but then again, there's a lot of traumas associated with that because it's saying, what's it mean? As a 12-year-old, mm. I've, I've, I'm pregnant, and then I've terminated the baby because the law allows me to, mm. but then I'm not going to tell my family, so I'm going to keep quiet about it. Mm. So the trauma and the dangers that it's doing... So we I mean, it's being not 31. I don't even think I'm ready for pregnancy <laughs> or terminating pregnancy. Can you imagine a 12 year old? As far as I go, we have to go to the best for the Kolo, I was his back, I go to Ikeng and Jay, especially about Fanabang, and I will put about that who affect teenage pregnancy. What is it? What are we doing wrong? What can we do better? Put them. Hey, so I mean, I'll tell you my first, uh, my story first. Mm. When, when I was, um, cause I finished school in 2014. Yeah. Then 2016, my girlfriend, yeah. well, ex-girlfriend, yeah. Got yeah. Okay, so yeah, my girlfriend got pregnant, and then, but then she was too young. So mm. then her parents said that no, we're too young. Both of us can't take off this baby. So mm. then, well, the baby was adopted, and now is in England. Mm. Yeah. So you know, I think because I, mean, I grew up like knowing like abang and bang. So you can you gave it away. Well, not like by choice. Legally? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, well, as I What did too young, Papa? I was, what, 2016, I was, what, 18, I think. And she was how old? And she was 15. Yeah, around mm. yeah. Okay. Statutory rape, do you know that it, it, it's something that could have gone in that direction? Yeah, that's what the mother said and mm. the father and so. And how, how would have, how, had they pursued that case against you, how would, have, would it have affected in Biloya? Sure. Yo, yeah, my life would have been, would have been a mess there. Eh? Mm. Yeah, because like, because about the thing is, because I'm going to get Okay, it's one more. And it's one more, Papa. We've just, we're running out of time, so we need to go. And I think that's the biggest thing, Melody. At the end of the day, we also need to educate people, Gori. Statutory rape is a real thing. Yeah. So let's, let, let's try and fight against the unwanted pregnancies, mm. but also the education element. Thank you very much, guys, for mm. tuning in. Let's see you tomorrow again, half past 10 to half past 11 o'clock, only on SABC One.